Okay, now I just want to go and find my Game Boy and just play Pokemon all day. That's what I want to do. Yeah. 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 Anohana, the flower we saw that day, is directed by Tatsayuki Naiji. I'm not sure how you pronounce the. I'm not, I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. I did my best and I, I apologize. The anime focuses on Jintan, who is a troubled and reckless teenager. It focuses on his relationship with his childhood friends. He is a shut in who does not leave his house. He does not go to school. He has no motivation in his life whatsoever. And one day he is haunted by his childhood past and he's and it, it's quite traumatic and it's very stressful for him in a way where he meets Menma again. Menma is this little girl who symbolizes his stress and trauma. And it's very unclear, I mean, if she is a ghost, if she is a hallucination, if she is an angel, I mean, where did she come from? How did this happen? No one really knows. It's very ambiguous, it's very unpredictable it's, and when it comes to... And, and it's very unclear and vague as to how she even dies. This series is beautiful. This series is flawless, in my opinion. It's one of the saddest animes out there. I mean, when it comes to anime today, you know, there are certain moments in some series where, you know, some episodes can, can, can be very emotional, you know, some people can probably tear up, cry and whatever, and it's very understandable. But this anime does it throughout. But if you are a very big anime lover, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I've only, I've only just started watching anime very recently and I've started to catch up with a few other animes and films that are out there. I'm trying my best, but I'm very happy that I finally got to watch Anohana. The series beautifully reflects so many emotions that people can relate with. I mean, there are so many awkward, complex feelings and and uh, hardships, you know. Growing up is a very key aspect in this anime. It's, uh, it's, you know, growing up, you know, losing loved ones, moving on from recent events, moving on, from moving on from someone or something. This anime is mostly about trying to find a place in this world, which is what Jin is trying to do, which is what other characters are trying to do. When it comes to characters, the character depth is flawless. The group of people that are in this anime, the, the super peace busters, they call themselves when they were very young, you know, it's, it, it's, it, it amazes me. It amazes me as to how much I hated them, how much I hated some of them in the first episode and how I just grew up to just love each and every one of them by the end of the anime. And for an anime, for a show, or any type of series to actually do that to the audience, it's truly mesmerizing, and I loved every single second of it. My favorite character is definitely Popo. He's very lighthearted. He's very, very charismatic. He's very, very joyful. And um, he, you know, he when he was a kid, he was this very skinny, very short little person. wasn't very confident in a way. And now he's grown up to be this big, huggable, lovable sort of guy that everyone can just that everyone can just simply look up. Well, what I love about this anime is how nostalgic it is. I mean, I, I, I think while one of these episodes, I can just watch them, you know, playing Nokimon. I think it's a parodied version of Pokemon, and it's the same thing. When you see how the technology was back then, it just brings you back. It just brings you back to how it all was. You know, I remember all these days, um, I, re I remember those days, you know, just um, playing my Game Boy, playing some Pokemon and all other games with my brothers and friends. I thought it was brilliant and um, you don't really get that anymore, which is quite sad, but um, if you watch this anime, you will have the exact same feeling. I know that you're feeling that same thing as well. The story is brilliant. I think it really is a masterpiece. It conveys many emotions that the audience can go through. The best thing about it is that there are many people that can relate to this anime. You know, it conveys many stuff like regret, heartbreak, emotional pain, um, trying to move on from something or someone. The only advice that I can give you guys is enjoy it, but at the same time, I suggest, I highly recommend you guys to bring a box of, you know, 
tissues because you're going to need them. Trust me. You're going to need them. Take some. Just, just, just take This is a beautifully animated series. I mean, the setting is beautiful. It is absolutely mesmerizing. People who are creating these characters, designing these characters, they're geniuses. They are geniuses. The setting is gorgeous. It was actually based off um, the real location where uh, the director actually grew up. So um, you can see a bit of comparison there. You can see how it perhaps was personal to the director too. The animation, in, especially in, in Menmod's character, this, the, the design of it, the character work, you know, is a silver, silver hair, you know, white dress. It subconsciously gives the character that ghostly and angel sort of development. Guys, I love this anime and I don't think I want to watch it again because I don't want to cry that much because I've never cried that much in my entire life. I'm not kidding. You know, that's um it was a it was a it, it was a tough time, but enjoy it. That's the thing. You know, this is very uplifting. It's not it's not a truly truly sad thing that you'll just keep on, you know, being sad about. <laughs> but um I do recommend you guys watching it. I'd say I I would say that my only problem it's not it's not even it's not even much of a problem. It's just a bit of a bit of a thing that has been been in my head. I don't think it affects the anime in any way or for any shape or form. It's just it's too short, you know. I wanted more of these characters. I wanted more of Anohana and the whole series and you know other characters like the father and perhaps um, the you know, Jane Tan's mother. Um, this is 11 episodes, by the way, guys. This is 11 episodes. And the fact that you can create these characters in much depth and development in just 11 episodes, that, that tells a lot, guys. That tells a lot. I'm going to give Anohana, the flower we saw that day, 5 out of 5 stars. Oh, God, the soundtrack. Don't even get me started about the soundtrack. I mean, the opening theme and especially the ending theme the ending credits you don't need onions you just need this just, just listen to that song <laughs> I'm kidding seriously it's it's beautiful guys um, I highly recommend it definitely go check it out thanks for watching guys and subscribe there we go